Hey everyone, how are you? David DeFranca here from Squarespace Summit with another Squarespace tutorial. All right, so besides connecting your Google Analytics account, as we discussed in our previous tutorial, today's tutorial covers another extremely important topic, and it's one of the best things you can do for your website. And if you don't do this, well, we're not really sure why you wouldn't. So let's get into today's tutorial, and that is all about setting up a custom domain on your Squarespace website. Now by default, every Squarespace website comes with a default URL, such as youraccount.squarespace.com. And now while there's nothing wrong with that, wouldn't it be really nice if you had your own custom.com? Well, of course, hence sspacesummit.com. Now to do this, Let's press the escape key on our keyboard to enter the usual content manager view and then click on the settings icon in the far left sidebar. Click on domains and now here in the top right you'll see that we have three choices. We could transfer a Squarespace 5 domain if you're coming from a Squarespace 5 powered website because for those not aware we're currently on Squarespace 6. You can also register a free domain if you just happen to own an annual Squarespace account. Yes, every annual Squarespace account includes a custom free domain name, which is really cool if you ask us. But the most common option is definitely the far right button, and that is link existing. So let's click on that, and now this is where you'll put in your domain. So for this video's purpose, let's just put in a random URL that I own that's not related to this website whatsoever, and that is davidsyoutube.com, and then let's click link. Now the domain is linked, but this is very important. We are not done yet. So click on the domain, and it'll open up this nice bright blue box that gets your attention right away. Now this is where you want to set up your DNS records, which vary depending on which domain registrar you're using, ranging from GoDaddy to Network Solutions to Hover.com. Now this may seem a bit complicated to basic users out there, which is not a problem because Squarespace does make it easy by clicking this link right here, where it says click here for more information about setting up a custom domain. Now this opens up a new tab and this walks you through the process of setting up a custom domain. Now click this link right here. This is easily the most helpful link on this page, Provider Specific Guides. And right here we have a full list of the most popular domain registrars available. 101domain.com, 1in1, Bluehost, Dotster, and all the way down to Yahoo. So as of this video, we're currently using GoDaddy in the form of defrancohosting.com. So let's click on GoDaddy, and this takes us to a nice detailed view of how to link our GoDaddy domain with our Squarespace website. Now this may seem like a lot, but we promise you it's very straightforward and your domain will be linked in a matter of minutes. Now once your domain is linked, go back to this domain configuration view and now honestly just wait it out linking a custom domain is easy but unfortunately it can take up to one or two hours to fully process so the best thing you can do is to be patient return to this screen in about an hour or two and then click this check again button to check on your domain's status and then eventually it will be active but of course, just like any other tutorial we've done in the past, you are always free to ask questions using the comment section right below. So please do not hesitate to reach out to us. And now finally, with all that said, this wraps up the tutorial. We really hope you enjoy it. And as always, thank you for your continued support. And we look forward to providing more tutorials in the future powered by Squarespace Summit over at sspacesummit.com.